Hi, this is Sue with Creations by Sue, and today I am going to demonstrate how to change the dot on the top of an I with Embrilliance Essentials and also with Embrilliance Enthusiast. So in front of me, or in front of the screen, you can see that I have um, already pulled up the design and it's all I need today is a little bit of coffee and a whole lot of Jesus. The first thing I'm going to do before I explain anything further is to get rid of this hoop drawing behind the design. So in order to do that, I go over four spaces, four um, spots from the left to view, click on that, and then I'm going to scroll down to where it says draw hoop, and I'm going to click that, which will uncheck that box, and now we don't have a hoop showing up in the screen. All right, next. I want to show you here's my first eye and I've already changed the dot on that eye so that it's a nicer dot because you can see here on the is and the bit and even the little we've got these little littler dots and they don't show up very well in anything fuzzy that I embroider this onto. So in order to do it in essentials the first thing I need to go to do is again go to the view icon and press that and then go down scroll down to stitch simulator and press that. And now I can go ahead and grab this little bar, pull it over, and it's going to slowly stitch, you know, or it can go as slow as it, it goes as slow or as fast as I want it to go, depending how fast I go with my cursor. So I'm just pulling over until I get to the that eye right there on the second line. And I'm going to back up a little bit. And then in order to go really slow, I go over here to these blue arrows and I can back up with this blue arrow to get back to the beginning of that dot. So I'll go back to the today and then hit the forward arrow one and there I am right where I want to be. All right so what I want to do is change the color of that because I'm going to end up deleting that little dot so I'm going to go with red sorry I need to go to the to right here stop and then pick a different color so I'll put pick you can pick any color. Highlight milk chocolate is what I'll pick. You just don't want to pick the color that it's already done in, which is black. Press OK. And now the rest of these are in the rest of this is in that milk chocolate. But what I'm going to do is go ahead now to the milk chocolate and just scroll forward until I get past that little dot. So in order to get the perfect spot to the perfect spot, I'm pressing these blue arrows once again. Wait, I want to go forward until it ends. Okay, so that's the dot. And then I press stop and I'm going to change back to black at the next spot. And we have that. Okay, and then press OK. Now I'll go over here to the right and I can find right here where I have that little dot in the brown and I go ahead and press delete and that'll delete that. So now the dot is gone. And the dot that I'm using is from the um, letter, built-in letter block. And so I'll just put in a dot here or I'll press the period key, press return and now I have a period right here. Bring that over. And I want to shrink it down. And I want it to be the same size as this one. So I'm going to press on that. Just now I look down here. And that one is 1 8 inch by 1 16 inch. So I'll make sure this one is the same. And it is because I went all the way down as small as it can get. Which, let me look at that. But I do think that looks good, so I'm going to leave it at that. And then I want to change this dot to black so that I can, that everything will stitch out together once I do a color sort on this design. So in order to do that, I press on the little dot. I press on color over here on the right under properties. Then hit that color with your cursor. Type in black. Press go, and it's coming up as Madeira Poly, but I want it to come up as Brother, so I need to go here and 
look for the for the brother embroidery. So I'll scroll up and there's brother embroidery and I need the color 100 black. Press OK and that one is done. Okay, now if you have Enthusiast, that's a little easier than what I just did with Embrilliance, but I wanted to show Embrilliance for those who don't have Enthusiast. So with Enthusiast, you're going to go up to this icon here, and that brings up these little boxes over here on the left, and they allow me to freehand and select what I want to delete. So I'll press on the box, Go here, and I'm going to draw around this dot because this one's going to be a little more challenging because it's like right up against that L. So I will draw around this little dot. Hold my cursor down. Draw very carefully around the dot. And then I will press delete. And it's gone. That was much quicker, but for those of you who don't want to buy Enthusiast, because maybe you don't need it for anything except something like this, you can do this on Embrilliance Essentials. All right, and then I will exit out of the Enthusiast. Well, maybe while you're on here with me, I'll go ahead and I'll try this little dot, which is going to be more challenging. Very carefully draw around it. We'll see if this works. Although it's not working because I did not, I did not grab my little, um, that you have to click on that box that allows you to freehand draw around this before you can freehand draw around it. All right, there's that. All right, we'll press delete. Uh, that doesn't look too good. It took part of the L with it. So that's not so good. So I'm going to go back and I'll have to do that one in Brilliance Essentials, I think which I can do on camera so you can see. But then I will exit out of Enthusiast and go ahead and just make a copy of this little dot. So press on it, press copy, and then press paste. It'll put the new one right on top of the old one so I can grab that one and bring it over here, which I'm noticing the only problem with this is going to be when it stitches it'll grab these at the end I believe so if you're okay with that this is great to do that but if you're not which I don't think I am actually I'm gonna go ahead and delete that dot and just make a new one with my letters here like I did before what I showed you that I did before and bring it over Put it on top, make it smaller all the way to as small as it goes, which is 1 8 by 1 16 center it over that eye, and then I just need to change the color, click out, click that again, go to color under properties, type in black. Now you could go ahead and first of all choose the brother embroidery thread before you type in black. Either way works. Press black, press OK, and now we have our little dot there. OK, now I'll go ahead and I will work on getting this other dot out in the little word. OK, so I'm going back to view and I want to do stitch simulator. And now go ahead and pull the cursor forward till I get to that. Whoops, went way too fast. Slow down. OK. We're going to go just right to the end of the oops, L, where it ended on the L. It looks like that's our spot right there. Press stop. Highlight milk chocolate. OK. All right. And now I need to do a stitch simulator again. And get to the end of that little dot. And I'm going to go down to where it's starting on the I because I wanted to delete that um, extra little stitch between the dot and the I. And then I press the stop key, go back to black. So this time I will start with, well, I guess I'm on Brother Embroidery, and that's the thing. It is on Brother Embroidery. I press black, go. Well, I guess that's working this time, but it doesn't work when you work with the bold 
lettering because that takes you back to the Madeira. So when I put in the new dot, I'll have to change that. All right, then I'm going over to my screen on the right under objects. I'm going to press that plus key. Here under 1.4, I see that dot. So I um, highlight that and delete. And now that looks good, except I have two little spots that I don't want. So I need to erase those. So I'm going to do that in Essentials. I need to figure out. Okay, let's see. Go back. I can see where the one is. Right there. So I'm going to press Stop. Put in the Highlight Milk Chocolate. Press OK. Then I need to go up there. So you can see this is a bit of a process. It does take time, but it's worth it in the end. Um, you get a nice design. I wish the um, person that digitized the design would have done a better job, honestly. But I've had to fix this design in a few places. And this time when I was working on it, I thought, well, I'm going to show you what I do. And I know this video is getting really long. All right, so right here is where I want to stop. Press the stop sign. Go back to black. Okay, and then I'll find my little spot, which is going to be right here, the 1.4 again. It's basically one little stitch. Delete it, and that does look better. All right, and then I'll just put in my dot in that spot. And I'll show you the color sorting, and then I will be ready to, this design will be ready to go. Okay, we're going to shrink it down. Just want to look at that. Looks a little bit like it's that eye dot is looking a little, maybe right there. Okay, or maybe actually I'm going to, well, let's, let's um, zoom this a bit. Get a better look at what's going on. That's something I should have maybe been doing already. And that probably would have helped if I had zoomed earlier. It would have been easier. So one, okay. Got our dot. It's down to where I want it to be. One thing I want to show you for the, okay, sorry. First, we're going to change our dot to black since we're still here. Go to the color under properties, change it to black. Then I'm just going to take us back to Embrilliance Essentials, or Enthusiast, I mean, and show you something fun that you can do with that. Press OK, and that should be black and good to go. OK. Now, you can see we kind of have this, looks, uh, this little piece, this little stitch here is just sticking out. So I want, to, I want to pull that in. So if I go to Enthusiast, I can just grab this stitch, and I can just kind of pull it in. There, done. There we go. Okay, see how quick that was. Very nice. All right, and then we'll go out of Enthusiast. And the next thing we're going to do, I'll decrease it a little bit in the zoom feature here so we can see the whole design better. I have a coffee cup on top of that, but I wanted to show you the actual wording more than that cup because we're working on the wording today. All right, and... We go to Utility over here, third icon from the left, and press Color Sort. And now that should put all the blacks together. So then I always do New View so I can take a look at it. And then um, over here on the right, I like to look at what it's going to stitch. So it's stitching all the black. And then the blue, like green, red, yellow, gray. So that all looks good. But I thought it would do the dots at the end. It looks like it actually moved those dots right in to where they needed to be stitched. And they're not going to be stitched at the end. So I can check that for sure by looking at the view. Stitch simulator. And no, they're going to stitch, I think, at the end of the stitching of the 
Okay, so they all came in right here. After it stitches the F, it's going to cut and go back up and stitch each of the dots, which is okay with me. If I had wanted that to be different, I can go back here, and you can see here we have we can open the whole design on the right under objects, press the plus key, and the whole design opens up. And all my little dots are at the end. So then I can grab them and I can move them up uh, high. So I could move them up here to the top more if I want them to stitch out earlier. But I think I'm just going to leave it as is. It's fine with me if it goes back and stitches those at the end. All right, well, I know this got to be a long video. I hope that you find it helpful, and um, please give me a thumbs up if you did, and be sure to press subscribe to be notified of future videos. And if there's anything you would like me to do a video on, please let me know. All right, well, happy stitching. Bye.